was really, really proud of my team. This was a very tough win for us. We knew it would be a tough game uh, with their length and athleticism and how disruptive they can be defensively. But we were very, very tough. Um, we survived when they made a run and took the lead. And I thought our bench guys, specifically Nike and Guillermo, were unbelievable for us. They gave us a big, big lift and uh, really made some big baskets and some big plays for us. We were able to step up and make some free throws at the end um, and get some stops. We were finally able at the end, the last under four, from the under four timeout on, we were able to get some stops. Um, Blake Henson, who had struggled a little bit shooting, made a huge three off of a great pass. And, uh, again, guys stepped up and made some huge plays for us. So really proud of this group. Another road win. Um, we'll enjoy it on the ride home and start getting ready for the next one. Yeah, you made the call to play Nelly for, I think it was only six minutes in that second half, and that obviously favored Nike there. What prompted that decision? And, and you talked about Nike there and his effort just – both ends of the floor. Are you more impressed with his offense or his defense? First of all, Nelly's battling a little bit of an injury, and we thought I thought that was hindering him a little bit. And so we wanted to go with Nike uh, just in that moment. Nike came in and played really well, and we decided to ride with him the rest of the game. Was that injury based off of that one three-pointer he shot? No, the injury was prior. It, it, it was in practice. He played against Louisville a little bit hurt. Um, he injured in practice uh, Monday. Jeff, can you just talk about the value – that you have with that veteran backcourt, being able to step up and make those big shots, and, you know, a game that was a little ugly there when it was going back and forth. Yeah, I mean, again, these guys are very confident. They believe in themselves. They believe in each other. We believe in them. And uh, sometimes as a coach, man, you got to have guys just step up and make plays, and that's what we did. I mean, for Nike to come in and make those two, you know, shots that he made from the top of the key, um, you know, to make some good passes for Jamarius, you know, to make passes, to make plays, you know, to find Greg for three, for Greg to step up and make the three, Blake to make the three. But I really thought Guillermo's minutes, man, were really, really good. You know, what he did, finishing some plays down there, keeping some basketballs alive. We got a three-pointer off of an offensive rebound that he kept alive. Um, it's just a testament to our team. I mean, guys stepped up and made plays. Yeah, 15 offensive rebounds, that's the most your team's had against any ACC opponent this year. And to go along with that, 20 second chance points, can you just talk about how well you guys did making the most of those extra opportunities? It was huge for us. That's something we talked about coming into this game that we had to take advantage of with the way they switch. You know, a lot of times their big guy, their fives would be on our guards. And we talked about we have to win that matchup, whether we throw it down there to them or if we get the ball on the glass, we have to go after the offensive rebounds. And Federico and Guillermo, those guys got 10 between them. They did a really good job of that. You touched a little bit um, on um, Solande com coming in on um, men, getting those shots. How important was it that stretch of the game? It was huge. It was huge. It was huge. I mean, the game was back and forth then. They had taken the lead. And, uh, you know, he stepped up and made some big-time plays. Nike's a confident guy. We have a lot of confidence in him. His teammates have confidence in him. And he was able to get into a rhythm and just stepped up and made some big plays. I thought he drove it well after that as well. Um, it was huge for us, especially in that moment in the game. What, what does that say about him to go 33 minutes without scoring and then come up with 10 points in three minutes? Yeah, well, he can do that. Nike's a guy his whole life he scored, and he can score points in bunches. And we know, his teammates know, that when he gets going, you know, we, we just try to look to find him and just let him go because he can make some plays. You know, that's the thing. Sometimes as a coach, like I said earlier, you know, you got to have some guys that can just make some plays. And he made some big-time plays for us this afternoon. Jeff, we talked before this game about how you hope your guys want to get revenge. How big is it to, you know, right that wrong that happened last month and, and, and get back to the win column? Again? Yeah, I think the biggest thing for us, man, is that we just wanted to win. I mean, we didn't talk, you know, it was just like, I mean, look, our guys, human nature, like they beat us at our place and, and they beat us. It wasn't, you know, whatever. We didn't do whatever. Like, they beat us. They made shots. They made big plays. We were just excited to play again, to get on the road again. We got another road win. I think in Power Five, we're up there for the most in the country. Um, and to come down and beat a good team. I mean, they're a good team. You know, I, I know their record doesn't say it, but I know they had a lot of injuries early. And you look at what they've done in the conference, they've, they've played well, and they beat us at our place. So we're just happy to get the win. If we want to put revenge to it, that's fine. We're just happy to get a win. This is 11 wins now in the ACC, which I think 
the ties here uh, most since the programs moved to the ACC almost 10 years ago. Does that hold any significance to you, or are you just – you know, remain in focus. We're, we're in the moment, man. We're just concentrating on right now. Like I said, we'll enjoy this the rest of the day, and uh, we'll start getting prepared for BC tomorrow. Or had a really good game today against you guys. What did you see from him that made him so successful? Yeah, he's a really good player. He's a talented player. He's a guy that we tried to recruit um, out of West Town. Um, you know, he, he got confidence early. He was able to get the spots. We, we wanted to go under on the ball screens. And he made us pay for that. He got the spots and shot over top of us. He made a three, which that's not something he does a lot. Uh, but he, he did a really good job. I thought we did a much better job on him in the second half. We changed our ball screen coverage, and I thought we did a much better job on him in the second half. Did you feel you had the offensive rhythm you were anticipating having or looking for in that first half? It's hard to get a rhythm against this team with the way they play defense. It, it's just hard to. You know, it, it's, it's hard to run your set plays against them because they take everything away. And so what you end up having to do is play one-on-one -on -one and to move it and hope on these drives, you know, they overhelp and you have some movement and you're able to find the kicks and to be able to be strong. I thought we did a much better job in the second half of being strong and finishing through contact. One big difference between the game here and what happened at home was the defense that you guys played on their own three-point What was different? Well, we had much more of an awareness. I thought we did a much better job in transition. Against us there, they really got loose in transition in the first half. Mills and Green specifically, Green in the second half also, and it got them into a great rhythm. Our guys had a lot of pride on, you know, trying to take Green out, you know, to be there. He also missed some, you know, that he normally makes, so we got a little bit fortunate there. But I thought we did a really good job of having the awareness in transition. With Guillermo, maybe even Jorge a little bit here too, because we talked about Guillermo's play today. Do you see those two just getting more comfortable as they keep playing? Yeah, I mean, they've, they've been playing. They're going to continue to play. They're good players, and they're going to continue to get better. I thought Jorge gave us great minutes in the first half as well. His length defensively he made a great drive and a pull-up. He didn't make it, but it was a really good drive. Um, those guys are good players. We believe in them. They have a lot of confidence in themselves, and, you know, I think they'll continue to get better. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks, Jeff.